Uh, let's get through some questions here, boys. Chris <laughs> goes, who are your candidates for Daily M so far? Daily M? Yeah, Daily M so far. So <laughs> perhaps Hughes, Walker, Luai, Edwards, Burden are some of the names on the list. I like mm. Jerome Hughes. Yeah, I was going to um, say Jerome Hughes as well, actually. I'd say Hughes. Um, who else were your other names? Well, Dylan Edwards started on fire, but yeah, sort did, of yeah, since yeah, his injury yeah. has come back to the field a little bit. Burton. Burton. What are you? Zach year? Lomax. Zach Lomax will be in contention. You know. Winger would never. Oh, Steve Morris was he a half or a winger when he won the half, wasn't he? Not Remember, sure. he won yeah. the very, very yeah, first Yeah, they one. gave it to him retrospectively, too. Yeah. 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 Not sure what yeah, position he was in, but if Zach Lomax. Wins as a winger. It'll be remarkable. Yeah. I think Jerome's the man. So Jerome? Jerome Hughes. Hughes, sorry. Yeah, yeah. of course. I think he's been yeah. killing it, Jerome yeah. Hughes. I agree. Jerome Law has been going a lot too, actually. Dylan yes. wants to know, which non-regular player has shown during Origin um, that he's up to first grade and could be targeted by another club? Ooh. So we're looking like a Trey Fuller. Um, who else has been really good that we, we probably haven't had a chance to, to look at? Before we don't have Origin players at Granola, so <laughs> I, I, I only watch them. I'm just trying to think of some of the Broncos <coughs> players who've got to start. Anyone the Chalks? Um, They're in the centres. We should have done some research here, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, Satili's been playing the centres. Satili, right? yeah. So yeah. 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 We had a great look at Blake Steep the other day, but not probably not that? enough. Blake Steep, we saw him. Yeah, he's a very good but player. We haven't had enough to. In your top 50 schoolboys list from last year. <laughs> what about the check? the young fella in Newcastle? Oh, the fullback, he, he went back. Oh, Fletcher, Fletcher Sharp. Sharp. Yeah, yeah. Guys like him. But again, he's contracted, I think, long term. Yeah, but that's all right. People are just like, so okay. those sort of well, names. Blaze Delaney's one, right? I mean, yeah, he's a kid who's Thank you for your first question. Grade. Next, right. please. Tony yeah. wants to know, why can't the Saints drop two games from win mm. and Cogger and play them at Allianz? Because there'd probably be a riot. Good shout. Oh, stop you it. know my view on suburban grounds. I think it's a very good what question. What are you going to bulldoze this week? Yeah, Cogger, it seems. Geez, you lost Points your... bet. You lost your Leichhardt campaign. You I didn't lose. I, got, I said. I got funding for the you ground. You wanted to knock it down. Without funding. They got funding. Oh. Not enough, mind you. I'd credit. still knock it down. I don't want the Dragons taking games away from Cogra. So even though the crowds at Cogra have been pretty poor, if you sat there and break it down. Terrible. Uh, Wollongong. I was there for the last game there, Mick. crowd was horrific. Yeah, the crowd's been pretty it's bad at for a little bit. Yeah. What's wrong with Dragons fans? Get uh, out and support your team. having a game this year. I, I tell you, if they were playing South... There'd be a case for Alliance and the Roosters. Yes. Oh, big games. They've hardly packed out. I don't know. I can't remember the last time Cogger was a sellout. It's been a while. If South come good and you were playing them, mm. should be moved to Alliance. I'm with you. No, don't start. Well, shout, about, well, then there'd be no games at Shark Park because they'd sell it out every week because they get no one in there. True. Buzz is with me. Moving to well, Alliance. Buzz is, Buzz is moving games out of Shark Park no, too. I'm not. Okay, well, well we're not moving Cogra then. Just we're not going. moving Cogra then. Don't start me on Shark Park. <laughs> we're not moving this place. Emails, emails. I'm just from rolling. Joel. I have an idea for the Vegas concept to help, to help build better connection between Super League and the NRL. The World Club Challenge should be played in Vegas as one of the four games on offer, but it should be worth two competition points to each competition. From Joel. Why yeah, would you do that? They'd be playing an extra game. Don't know. I'm not sure how it would work. I don't mind the concept of playing the game in Vegas. I don't want to be, want to be rude. Can we move on? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Uh, Thanks, Joel. Luke Joel. goes, should Nico be moved to six? He isn't a halfback in my opinion and does not have a long kicking game. Um, so should they move Nico from seven to six? Is he more of a six than a seven? Well, where did he play when he won the Dalian medal by the length of the straight halfback, didn't he? He did? Yeah, I'd leave him at half. Mm. Nico will be all right. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be okay. I get, I get what Luke's saying, though. Like, if he had yeah. an organising seven which freed Nico up, his strength is his running game. I don't actually mind that mm. Um, mm. if you had the right combination. Would Braden Trindle do that? Mm. I'm not sure. But if you did have an organising seven, mm. I don't think it's a silly no. idea. A no. silly Fair question. Sure. All right, sure. from David. This is a tongue-in-cheek. Why hasn't Madge got Paul Gallen running the water for the Mighty Blues? I guarantee Nate Miles doesn't have a go at Joseph Sawalee here. Ooh, that'd be good. good that'd question. be good to see, wouldn't it? Good question.